Hello my fellow cigar smokers and welcome to Smokers Bud. Today we're talking about my favorite premium sticks. Let's go! Premium sticks, my friends, that's what we want to go to talk about today, upon request. But frankly, that was something that was swirling around in my mind for a couple of months already, after doing like my favorite $20 sticks and $10 sticks and budget sticks, whatever, I thought might be a good idea to go a little bit up and see what we have in the premium um, segment. I want to take it uh, really easy going. Um, I chose different cigars, different brands, different regions. Um, and in total we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cigars. Uh, that I want to show you guys and um, in the past when I was doing my favorite sticks thing uh, it was also always like random today I want to start with the cheapest cigar and go to the most expensive cigar and believe it or not the cheapest cigar in my premium episode today is a Davidoff <laughs> And it's really one of my favorite Davidovs in their in their portfolio. Oh, and I have to mention, I only chose cigars that are still available. So no limited or very limited runs. Uh, all the cigars I have here, you can still buy today. Uh, and for most of the sticks, it's almost no problem to get them really. Um, okay guys, let's start with the Davidoff and that is the late hour, Davidoff Winston Churchill late hour and I chose the Toro size, uh, really traditional Toro, uh, we have a 44 ring gauge and I have to look at my notes, 6 inches long, so really traditional Toro, maybe ring gauge a little bit bigger than usual. And uh, that stick. Oh, look at that beautiful, really, that oily, shiny wrapper coming from Ecuador. Mexican St. Andrews binder, Philo Dominican Republic. That stick will cost you 31 euros. I don't know, around 33 dollars, something like this. One more criteria. I, I decided, or I thought makes sense is, What's the category of a premium stick? For some people it's already 15 euros as a premium stick, for other people like let's say 20 bucks. Since I had already the 10 bucks cigars and the 20 bucks cigars, I thought maybe it's a good idea. For my, for my, my criteria here for this episode is premium sticks, the definition is has to be, uh, has to be more than 30 euros. Easy. Um, and before I want to show you the other cigars, let's smoke that Davidoff. <clears throat> Since that stick was coming out, guys, a couple of years ago, it really... Ah, chocolatey, fruity, little bit of earth, little bit haze, such a complex cigar. Uh, really, I love that stick. And whenever a lot of people are asking me, what what are your favorite sticks? Really, most of it depends. And uh, because sometimes you know you're smoking like too much of a stick, and then have to take a pause with that stick, and then another one replace that one. But really, most of the time when people are asking me, give me a few of your favorite sticks, there's a good chance that the, that the late hour 
no matter uh, the Vitola is in there. And because I chose to present you seven sticks, I had to usually, you know, I'm not reading from somewhere, but seven cigars and remember the prices, the Vitola and all that. I made a few notes here. Uh, I know all the cigars, but you know, uh, I tried. I made one, I made one like, let's say exercise, but two, three cigars, that's okay. I can remember the price, sometimes just roughly, but um, I want to be a little bit more precisely. So we started with that beautiful late hour Toro and the next one. And guys, this one is maybe a surprise for you. Um, I had a other Vitola uh, already here on the channel. Um, and I remember not a whole lot of people heard about that stick, but it's, it's really, it's just a, it's just a beautiful cigar. Guys, and that. You know what it is? It's the Hank Maori. I had a different brand, a different Vitola here. That is the Hank Maori Haka. La Donna Edition Limitada 2018. I remember I said no limited editions, but guys, this, this cigar is from 2018. It's still available and I'm pretty sure for the next couple of years, it will also be still available. So don't worry, but more or less that, um, that, that Hank Maori here is more or less, mm, it's standing for the line, you know, very boutique cigar. Um, and you know what I love is here, they're not using a band, they used a laser in order to engrave or, or burn, whatever, I don't know how it's exactly done, um, their logo here on the wrapper. And that's a, it's just a beautiful cigar. Wrapper very much like the late hour, um, dark and oily, uh, beautiful stick. Also, I don't know. Maybe a little bit too long for a Toro, uh, but that one over here will cost you 36 euros. So around $38, something like this. And it has a 50 ring gauge and it's 6.5 inches long and it's a Puro Nicaragua. If you want to know more about um, the Hank Maori, the Haka series, uh, check out my episode there. I'm talking a lot about that brand that cigar, um, really beautiful stick, very unusual um, how it comes along, very unusual when it comes to marketing and all that. I really fell in love with the Hank Maori line. So if you have a chance, go and check that out. Very unusual stick, guys. So we have 31 euros. Hank Maogi was 36 euros. Next one, just a little increase, but if you're looking at the cigar, <laughs> you understand why that price is almost ridiculous. And that is the, let me show you. Of course, when we're talking about premium sticks, we have to talk about Fuente. And that here is from the Hemingway series. That's the Arturo Fuente Hemingway between the lines very small stick here let's see and for that stick uh 37 euros and 20 cents here in germany so i don't know around 40 bucks so, <laughs> i mean if you compare it right i mean it's that one is cheaper and it's a davidoff and that was more expensive look at this <laughs> look at the cigar oh 40 bucks 
Um, the good thing is, uh, oh, let's. Uh, it's it has a ring gauge of 54 and is 4.5 inches long. Um, barber pole wrapper, an oscuro and an and a I would say traditional Connecticut shade style. Beautiful looking cigar. Very a very a very fuente typical um, flavor uh, mixed with a little bit of extra spice. Um, 37 euros 20 cents. Cameroon wrapper uh, typical for fuente at least for for a couple of series um, and binder and filler is coming from the Dominican Republic. So next one. So we had everybody expected me to present a Davidov. I had a Davidov and I'm pretty sure everybody expected me to bring at least one Fuente in the premium episode over here. And then we had it. Surprise was the Hank Maori, I think. Um, and the next one also, I would say you would expect that. And that one is in Patcon. And that one is from the 1926 series. And that here is the special release 40th anniversary Torpedo Maduro. Uh, ring gauge 54 times 6.5, Puro Nicaragua, 43 euros and 80 cents. So around 46 dollars. Patron, lovely. They doing such great cigars. Unfortunately, not very popular here in Germany. It has its fans, but it's not like everybody. A whole lot of people never heard about Patagon over here. More popular in the United States, but it slowly comes over here. Uh, over the last couple of years, I hear more and more people talking now and then about a Patagon cigar. So I think that's a good sign. Mm. The 40th anniversary release here. They celebrated the 40th anniversary uh, of the company. And they did that in 2001, I think, or 2006. I really can't remember. <laughs> Doesn't matter. They, celebra they celebrated something. Uh, <laughs> mm. But Consiga never let me down, really. And no matter if you if you if you're taking like the Patron Premium segment, or if you're sticking to the let's say a three thousand or what, uh, always good. Really, uh, can't remember a single time where I had to complain about a Patron. Really, it's like with Davidov. So guys, we had Davidov, we had Patron, we had Fuente. We had the um, we had that Hank Maorgi um, next in line, of course, guys. We cannot do a premium episode without Cuban cigars. So, and the next one here will be the Trinidad, and that is the Trinidad Esmeralda, like Cohiba. It's uh, they constructed in El Laguito uh, in cu Cuba. Mm. I think next to the Topaz, that was one of the newest additions to the to the Trinidad series that Esmeralda, because people were asking for a bigger Vitola. Um, and guys, we talked a lot about the Cuban price increase. This cigar would have made it to the premium segment over here uh, last year because last year that stick was 19 euros <laughs> and right now it's 63 euros 
<laughs> 63 euros. It's a very good cigar, right? I love it. Uh, but now they're charging 63 euros for it. Um, so uh, it made it in the in the top three here, uh, price-wise. <laughs> mm. As usual, uh, wrapper, binder, filler, all coming from the Dominican Republic. And it's very similar to the next one I have size-wise because that Esmeralda has a ringage of 53 and is 5.75 inches long. And the next one is also a Cuban cigar and that's the number two price-wise. There's only one more that is more expensive. Um, and that is the Cohiba Ciclo 6. Really, I guess that's my favorite Cohiba. Very typical, lovely. And this one, the only difference to the Esmeralda is it has a ringage of 52. The Esmeralda has a ringage of 53. Um, all Cuban tobacco in there. And it is 81 euros. 81 euros, guys. For good Cohiba. <laughs> Can't remember the original price. It was something around 30 euros. <coughs> yeah. Mm. Next one. Number one, price wise. I'm not. The order I presented, I said it's. I, I ordered it uh, in regards to the price. I'm not saying anything about. I like all of them, really. So don't ask me what's my favorite out of this ones. It really depends. Probably the Davidoff over here. That's the one I smoke very, very often, right? I used to smoke the Ciclo 6 and Esmeralda very often too. But after the price increase, I thought about, well, I keep my boxes over here. Maybe in two or three years, maybe one stock stick will cost you like 500 bucks. So <laughs> that might be a good investment. Uh, and I'm not smoking my investments. So number one, last one here in the, my favorite premium sticks is a Davidoff. Huge cigar. And that is the uh, Davidoff Royal Release Salomones. I smoke this cigar at least once a year. I have a tradition. Uh, New Year's Eve, uh, last day in the year, I'm starting this cigar. And that's always my first cigar in the year. So like an hour uh, like 11 p.m. or so and on the 31st of December I'm lighting up the cigar I'm smoking it and this one you will easily smoke two hours so it will also be my my first cigar uh, in the year huge cigar I think I've made a night owl uh, while I was talking a little bit about the the royal release typical Salomones has a ring gauge of um, 57 57 biggest part and is 8.25 inches long puro dominican republic and the price is right now 140 euros per stick that's the number one here in the premium segment hmm a whole lot of money for most of the cigars, but I mean, I mean, compare it, right? 31 euros, also a Davidoff, 140 euros. So, yes, I mean, it's the cigar is something special. Is it worth 140 euros? I don't know, guys. You have to decide it for yourself, really. Uh, I don't know. Definitely all the cigars I'm talking about here, especially like the last three. Um, there we are in a segment where I'm always saying, you know, sitting in the lounge with my buddies, we're talking cigars, we're smoking expensive cigars. 
and they start complaining about something I always say is, you know what shut up you have no right to complain about this or that you know you're sitting over here you're smoking a very very expensive cigar I mean imagine over here you know you're smoking 140 euro cigar other people uh, have to work like two days in, in order to just earn that you know so shut the fuck up right uh, be happy that you can smoke that cigar uh be happy just be happy right um it's a um sensitive topic um so are the cigars worth that price Man. hard to answer you know and even when you're asking me personally like andy here you're smoking that 100 bucks cigar is it really worth the price it really depends sometimes on one day i say no it's not there's no way that the cigar is worth that price and another day i think that's oh, a damn good cigar right and i'm thinking about the process the tobacco the the years sometimes the decades the the tobacco age and all that and then you're thinking about it and you think maybe i don't know maybe you know but then Okay, that's all, all cigars. I smoke them on a regular basis, more or less. And then there are other cigars, like remember the Cohiba uh, uh, Edición Limitada 2021? I smoked the other day. That's a 300 euro stick. No, there's no way, no way that on a regular basis I'm smoking a stick like this, right? That is insane. And if you're asking me about that cigar, is it worth the price? No, it's not. The only way you can justify that is if you're a collector and then it doesn't matter and then it doesn't matter really because you're spending 300 euros there and in your mind it's already calculating like next year i can sell it for like 400 euros for example or whatever you know so that's the whole different topic that that's not that's not the way uh or that's not a field where you buy cigars in order to smoke it that's the, that's the field where you're buying cigars in order to collect it. And collecting cigars is a whole different game than smoking cigars. I regularly enjoying like four euro sticks, right? Five euro sticks. Um, but also 30 euro sticks. For me, a rule of thumb is when it comes to smoking cigars, not collecting, smoking cigars, if I have to think about the price, it's not a cigar for me. So guys, let me recap all that backwards. We had the David of Royal release Salomonas 140 euros. We had a Cohiba Cyclo 6, I think my favorite Cohiba, for 81 euros. We had a Trinidad Esmeralda, 63 euros, all Cuban. And then I already forgot the price from the other ones. We had a Patagon 1926 series, 40th anniversary, Torpedo Maduro. We had that wonderful Arturo Fuente Hemingway between the lines. For 37 euros and 20 cents. Remember that one? We had that Hank Maori. Very unusual cigar. Go and check that out. It's is it it's worth it. Love boutique cigars. And we had that wonderful David of Winston Churchill late hour. Toggle. Have you ever smoked one of these sticks? If yes, let me know what you think. Do you like it? Do you hate it? If you like it, why? If you hate it, why? Um, put it down in the comments. If What do you think about premium cigars in general? Uh, you're considering buying some of these sticks or in that price range? Or is that something where you say, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not willing to pay more than, let's say, 10 bucks for a cigar. I'm fine with that. Let me know. Really, what, I'm very interested to know your guys' thoughts about that topic. Um, because... It's controversial. My friends, 
I hope you enjoyed that little journey to the premium segment of cigars. If you have also other ones in mind, maybe you say, Andy, you missed that one. You really have to talk about this one. Let me know. Also down in the comments. Um, hope you can smoke a good cigar. Enjoy life. Most importantly, stay safe and stay healthy. And I hope to see you around at Smoker Spot. Cheers.